Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of A Man of Mayhem. As mentioned before, uh, gradually we have been building up the number of units we are using and we are now up to the point where we will have a scenario containing over 280 units. Um, so I thought it was, um, the time was ripe for a uh, scenario where we would actually have a defense scenario. The next uh, episode will be our very first Omaha Beach Assault map, the first D-Day. But before that, uh, we here have the clones that are defending on Hoth for an incoming uh, huge army of droids. And the droids are still um, accompanied by two snail tanks and the notorious Hailfire. A lot of uh, people took out some uh, some emotions when they saw how powerful the hailfire was um some people were kind of kind of upset even that i used it which was kind of kind of kind of weird um but uh, it actually made for a great great uh, antagonist in my opinion to the point where the clones now need a plan to actually destroy the Hellfire tank. Now, actually, in some of these playtests, they have actually managed to destroy it. They took several, you or they take, took huge, huge casualties, but one single shot from these bad boys is actually enough to destroy one of those Hellfires. So even though they are very, very strong when it comes to their attack, defense-wise, they're very weak. The problem is that their range is huge, so you actually have to get close in order to attack it anyway let the attack commence people See that the Hellfire is still. And you saw that the uh, we're going to to replay this several times to see it from different angles, but the droids are trying to get close to the uh, the clones. Yet they're being stopped. These snail tanks are being uh, destroyed. Now, one big issue, one big mistake I made before is I said in the previous video that the Hellfire only has one attack. They can attack once, one barrage of rockets, and then they're out. This is not the case. They can attack multiple times. It just takes a really long time for them to reload. You can see that their trend, the trenches of the clones have been completely destroyed. Pretty much no one is there anymore. What's very interesting here, oh, I was about to say, is that the Hailfire is not moving forward, even though it does have a secondary attack. Now it's moving, though. The droids were not able to actually reach the trenches. Again, the droids have more or the clones have more defenses than ever oh here we go here you can see the hailfire well no cannot attack yet oh there there we go yep here you see it it uh is ready for another barrage so the clones should have taken an opportunity and hopefully uh do a full frontal assault in order to destroy it, but now they're going to get another barrage on them. Still, the droids are not getting closer to them. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, that one guy is going to get it. Yep. Well. And now they're going to be attacked in the back. 
That snail tank is still operational. I think it's safe to say that some of these turrets are damaged so they can't move. Here we go. It was destroyed. Oh, it would actually seem that it was destroyed. Oh my god. Well, actually, there's one, two... Yeah, it was destroyed by the one it fired its rockets on. Interesting, because in the Geonosis battle, they got obliterated. Very easily, yet apparently... Yep, it's still operational, look at that. Look at that, people. The ha the notorious Hailfire has been destroyed. And here you can see still a few clones walk over the battlefield as some droids are still shooting, but it's pretty much, I would say, a uh, victory for the clones but at a huge, huge loss. There's actually, uh, I know for a fact that not all the bodies actually st actually stay on the battlefield. There's a mod that does this. I don't know how much it impacts performance though. But, uh, again, as I said, uh, you know, there are more than 280 units, and that's not the number of corpses that you see here. Anyway, let's do this again, people. Let's, um... Let's focus on the infantry. Oops. As they head in. And let's focus on the droids. So, we're gonna go first person. Okay. Hold on. This group is actually front the most. Oops, god damn it. <laughs> yep, you can see that many of them don't make it. This is a huge group of super battle droids trying to get over this hill. They have a little bit of cover, but once they get past that, yep. Will this one guy make it? Will this one guy make it? The answer is no. I actually see that these droids are now being driven off. There's this group here. We have them outnumbered, they say. Let's see about that. Oh, actually, this trench has already been completely obliterated. This is actually something very interesting. This is not, nothing to do with the mod, but something with the AI capabilities of this game. Is that the environment, of course, changes, and so you will have impacts, crater impacts, and the AI will actually use it as cover. Now, it's not the best cover. It's not very good cover, but at least it's better than standing completely in the open. Hailfire is actually... Coming forward. Yeah, these guys are too much focused on this. This guy is not doing anything. Oh, uh, you can see that the droids are pushing. Actually, they're not pushing, they're just all... Assembled over there. 
Hailfire is doing pretty much the same thing he did before. Going here and attacking. You can actually see it's using a secondary attack, but for what? I don't know. This clone uh, feels a little confident. Oh, I just got destroyed. Yep, and there you go. Again, took two shots. Very easy to destroy once you're in range. Okay, people, let's start this one last time. Instead of actually participating, as in uh, actually taking direct control, I'm just going to actually focus the camera on one side. I'm not actually going to concentrate uh, completely on the clones. Uh, not on the first uh, row, though. I'm going to do it here. There we go. Okay. So. There they just lost their trench. They're getting out of it. Basically one assault wave they need to stop. And after that they retreat for a little while. And then it becomes a scattered battle. You see they're still assaulting. I would say that there's a significant amount of droids still alive. Or, well, they're not technically alive, I guess, but you know what I mean. Yep, here you go. Exactly. Some droids actually broke through. Interesting, interesting. They are assembling at this point. Hellfire. Oh, hell, hold on. Hellfire is firing. Where is it firing to? It seems it's pretty spread out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at where it's firing. That makes no sense where it's firing right now. I mean, that one does make sense, but... Oh my god. What is it doing? Did it use all its rockets? No. It still has some. It's turning again. These clones are trying to flank them. Yet they don't have any... Rocket troops, it would seem. little they can do against the uh, snail tanks and yeah, now it's again turning that way now these clones are attacking the droids as the snail tank and the hillfire are moving forward oh Snow tank is getting full barrage. Oh, that you you are in a bad spot over there, mate. Yep. Look at that. The Hellfire actually took quite a bit of punishment. There 
you go. Oh, okay. I got destroyed. Again, all... During these scenarios, the clones have been able to destroy the Hellfire. But, uh... You know, at what cost? I would say that the battle have, has been won by the, uh... Clones every time. But, you know, what if, um... What if the droids come back stronger next time? Will they bring two Hailfire this time? Or maybe even another one, uh, new unit? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.